Hi there, are you somebody who experiences eye strain? Well, if so, I've got a quick tip for you in today's video. Hi there, my name is Morgan Risden and I'm the creator of Center Studio, where I teach people skills to feel more comfortable, more often, which yes, includes your eyeballs. So if you are new to my channel, friend, welcome. I'm really glad to have you here. I hope if you enjoyed today's quick video, if you'll do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, there's also a notification bell that'll let you know every week when I upload my new video. And then of course, feel free to check out some of my other videos as well. In today's video, I wanted to talk about eye strain, and this is something that has come up with a few of my students before in the past. And of course, just like any other part of your body, your eyes, my friend, can get tired from the way that you're using them as well. I often talk in Alexander Technique about the use of one's body, the way that they're using themselves in everyday life, and of course, that is always going to include your eyes as well. Now, there is a quick tip that I have for you today with regard to how you can help get yourself some relief if and when you experience eye strain. For those of you who don't know, eye strain is from anything like looking at a device for a long time. Maybe you're driving long distances or focusing and concentrating on something for a long time. It's when your eyes feel tired, right? Just like any other part of your body, your eyes can feel tired as well. And oftentimes we don't really recognize when our eyes are beginning to strain until they get really dry or irritated, or even sometimes we can get sort of like a headache around the orbit of the eye. So I like to recommend individuals who are spending a lot of time at their computer to implement something of this nature on a somewhat regular basis to give their eyes a break throughout their day. Now, it's a simple cupping exercise where you're just gonna cover your eyes, essentially. I always recommend getting your hands warm ahead of time, so you can just put your hands together. You just cause a little bit of friction, and that's to get your hands warm. The warmth is gonna help relax the muscles around the eyes. You've got, of course, muscles that are helping to uh, move your eyes from side to side. So you can do this for about five to 10, maybe even 15 seconds. And then you just place your hands over your eyes. So the heel of your hand is going to be placed on your cheekbone. The palm is going to be resting here at the, the bridge of your brow. And then your fingers are just gonna rest on your skull. So you sort of have this placement of the hands over your eyes as you put them to your face. And you'll feel sort of a, a small pressure along the orbit of the eye here, this entire area of your eye. So you're not pushing into your face or anything of that nature, but you're just really letting the hands rest there so that you feel the pressure of the palm of your hand and then your fingers can of course gently rest on top of your skull. And you just focus on your eyes softening. So letting the muscles of the eyes relax, letting your breathing be easy. And usually when I do this, for example, you know, I'm looking at a ring light as I make this video, so I still see the light from the ring light even though my eyes are closed and my hands are covering my face. Now, for you, you may see a computer screen still, or you may see what you were looking at outside. You might still see light or flickering of light, and if that's the case, you kind of want to wait until that light disappears and then you'll softly open your eyes behind the palms of your hands, and then when they kind of adjust, then you just remove your hands. So you're bringing your, your eyes to a place where they have no need to see anything, and it's really giving them a break from light that they're taking in. And you can really feel sort of all of the muscles around the eye start to soften, they melt away tension, and they start to relax. Oftentimes, again, when you're looking at a screen for extended periods of time, when you're concentrating on the road, that's strain on your eye muscles. You're overusing them and they can get tired and fatigued, right? Just like any other part of your body, your eyes can get tired too. Now, the big thing I want to make sure that I encourage you to do when you do this exercise is not to tighten your neck and your shoulder, friends. So of course, as an Alexander teacher, I'm always looking at how are students doing certain activities. And this is one of those things that as soon as I recommend to students to cup their hands over their eyes, I see a lot of this where they bring in their elbows, their shoulders, their arms, everything kind of comes together, and then they start to kind of try to relax it. Don't even pull your arms and shoulders and neck into any sort of state. Just literally bend your elbows 
and then bring your elbows up so that your hands get closer to your face. So I'm gonna repeat that. You leave your shoulders alone, friend. Your shoulders have nothing to do with this exercise. You're simply gonna bend your fingertips towards your shoulders, your elbows are now bent, and then bring your elbows up away from your body, and then you're gonna bring your hands to your face. So it's a really simple exercise that doesn't include, again, any tension in the neck, any tension in the shoulders, in order to cover up your eyes. You're really just bringing your hands closer to your face from your bent elbows. And again, it's a really relaxing exercise. You can do this for anywhere from a minute or two and as often as you'd like. So as much as you think you need it, try to implement this into your day-to-day -day life to find a little bit of relief, all right? Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video, friend. And of course, if you did, take a moment just to hit that like button. And until next time, take care, friend. Ciao.